Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartz and Mr. Machine. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the documentary called Tinder Swindle. And I'll be giving you guys my thought and opinion, and it's going to be a bit of a girl talk as well. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It is free. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. By the way, today is February 22nd, 2022, which is a really, really cool date because it's 2 22 2022 that is so awesome but yeah i just want to throw that out there because it doesn't happen so often you know all right you guys let's get started so i watched this documentary about a week ago and i actually needed to gather my thoughts together i just didn't want to come on here and just talk about it i first wanted to like sit down and think and really think it through when it comes to these ladies right because a lot of people on social media are calling them naive dumb and all those things but um i just didn't want to come on here and just like give my opinion right away i wanted to really like sit and think so today i'm gonna tell you guys that this could really happen to anybody okay so this could happen to you your sister your brother your aunt your cousin your mom anybody okay anybody can be swindled like anybody can be scammed okay so i don't think those ladies are dumb i felt like they were just um in love mostly even though it may seem like how you're going to be in love with somebody out of what they give you or show you. Some people are like that, you know. Some people love lang languages are a gift. So just her getting, like the, the first girl, getting like the bouquet and getting flued on a private jet. Maybe that's like something that she, she sees as love, you know. Like someone that does that for her, loves her. And of course, they had conversation in the talk and that's also how... You know feelings came into play so i do feel like a lot of um their reasoning was also due to the fact that they are in love or they were in love with the guy so i don't really think that naive even as friends okay there's some friends that are scammers like literally have you ever had that type of friend that you know every time you guys go out every time you guys hang out you're always buying or they act like they forgot their wallet or they always ask you for money ask you for money and when it's time to pay you back they act like they forgot you know, and it keeps recurring, you know what I'm saying? Those are scammers, like literally, it could be anybody. It doesn't always have to be somebody you're dating, right? So now, when it comes down to them going to take out those big, big loans and the, the girl increasing her credit limit just so she can, you know, give him the money as he needed, I personally feel like she did that because she was already in love. Like, you're not gonna do that to somebody you don't care for, like, you know what I'm saying? So we know that, you know, when you see it from the outsider, it's like, oh yeah, that dumb, that naive. Why would you send money to somebody you met online and you guys only met a couple times and stuff like that? I understand where people are coming from when they say that, but at the end of the day, people fall in love quick, just like people take their time before they fall in love with somebody. So for her to do all those things, I'm sure she just didn't do it because you know of care i'm sure she loved him so him saying his enemies are after him and her going to get all the money she needed um to help him was an act of kindness from her heart and from the fact that she was in love with the guy you know and one thing you guys need to know about these scammers right we see them on an everyday basis you see a guy's gucci down from head to toes but he he sleeps on the couch or he barely has a place to sleep so one thing a lot of people are saying is that you know they also like the guy because of what he had right man let's be honest a guy that flies you out in private jet or that you see lives a luxurious lifestyle even if you're not materialistic or even if you are already financially stable you will fall for it like even me myself i would because it's like oh yeah he's good looking and he got all this let's be honest right it's it's not because you're a gold digger no it is because you like luxurious stuff as well like who doesn't like a nice lifestyle like who doesn't like to live in like luxury like come on now let's not act like you know if it was you, you wouldn't fall for it you know but now when it comes down to giving all this money now now i wouldn't do that type of thing because mm, when it comes to my money i'm very selective to who gets my money and how i spend my money anybody around me will tell you like i'm very selective when it comes to how i use my money because i know how hard i work for it so the money part was not going to be a problem on my end because mm, i'm very selective once again when it comes to me spending my money or giving my money to anybody right so them doing that doesn't mean that they're dumb or it doesn't mean that they're naive it's that's just who they are some people are very giving like 
people are like that. I'm a giving person, but I give to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? But some people, when they're in love, they lose it. You know, they cannot really think straight. But you, as this outsider, can be like, oh, that was a red flag. That was a red flag. You know, like my enemies are after me. You know, help me. Mm, they cannot always keep being after you. And you, 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 you have so much money. Why aren't you reaching out to your family to help you? You know what I'm saying? That would be my thought process, right? But. In love, maybe they didn't think about all those things. Or maybe they did, but then they were like, okay, at the end of the day, is my man. They're supposed to help each other and be there for each other, right? So, me personally, if I have a friend that comes and be like, oh, I met this guy online. He wants me to send him money. His enemies are after him. Or whatever the issue is, I'll be like, girl, doesn't he have people? Like, family, friends, like, before you, wasn't he around people? What about the friends he be around? Like, can they help him? Like, that would be my thought process. But then again, my friend might be like, no, you know, that's my man. At the end of the day, family and friends is not the same thing as your girl. I need to be there for him. I'm going to help him. i will be like, all right, girl, do you. No problem, right? But her being in that situation, she may not be seeing so clear, you know, because she's in love with the person. So she will go ahead and give the money. So that doesn't mean that if the guy ends up scamming my friend, I would tell her she's dumb and naive. No, I'll be there for her. But one thing I would tell her is, I told you so. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't think it's fair for people to be like, oh, these ladies are dumb. This Because it could really be anybody, you know? So we are here, like, giving our reviews and telling people how we react if we're in the situation. But you actually been in the situation... It's a different story. It's a different ball game. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you guys. Um, so ladies, my advice is gents too, cause you know we also got girls that do the same that be scamming guys, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, my advice is please be careful and be very, very, very vigilant when it comes to people that you let into your life. I do not care. It could be friends. It could be boyfriend. Any type of relationship you decide to welcome in your life, you need to be very careful because some people are just users and based on everything I see, you know, obviously you guys can tell that the guy is a manipulator and there are people that can easily be manipulated. So the whole, oh baby, you know, I love you, we're going to be together, like I can't wait for us to be together forever, I can't wait to make you my wife, all these things. Maybe really made her feel like, oh yeah, he's really into me. Like, this is really my person. How about I help him out now? So, another thing that would have been a red flag for me was, you are a diamond prince, right? And you are asking me for money. Like, what happened to you guys' company? You know what I'm saying? But then again, his excuse could be like, oh, we're working on a project or something. You know people that are manipulators, they always have something to say. They always have a reason to why they're trying to do something. So when you come and try to make sense of the whole situation they will definitely find something else to say so i do not think these ladies are dumb it could really be anybody so another way that these cameras operate right they can come and shower you with gift right okay they take you out to dinner they bring you flowers they buy you things right and couple weeks later because what they do is that they have a budget to how much they can spend on you before they ask you for some money in return right so they, they shower you with gift and you're like oh yeah this is my person like he's the one you fall in love with them and then next you know they ask you for money and be like babe i'm really like stuck right now financially i need some help can you please help me or what they do is they tell you oh i'm gonna send you some money or i deposit the money in your account can you please check if you check, you'll be like, it's not there. He's going to be like, oh, no, it's not there yet. Can you please get this for me? And once the money hits your account, you should be covered. I even added some more dollars, a couple more dollars, or euros, or franc, whatever currency you're using. They're going to be like, I even added, you know, a couple hundreds in there as a gift for you, my lady. These type of things, like, the way the, the scam, is a whole system, okay? It's a whole system. So please just be very, very careful, especially if you're in the dating scene, be very careful with these guys. They are everywhere. So another thing these cameras do, besides just dressing, you know, designer down, they also drive different cars, right? Different luxurious car. They'll pick you up in different luxurious cars just to make you feel like, oh yeah, like I got it like that. Like these are all my cars. Whole time that either his friend's car that he's borrowing or he's renting those cars. Most likely renting, okay? Because most of those guys, their friends don't have it too. So all they do is just scam people. Okay, this is literally all they do, scam people. So please, lady, protect your peace, protect your heart, protect yourself, okay? Be very careful with people that you welcome in your life or you even interact with in your life because some people are just users. The world is cruel. As you guys can see, this guy went and did five months in jail and he's back out. Yesterday, I was watching his Instagram. I don't follow him, by the way. Don't be thinking I follow him because, nah. I was just watching his Instagram 
And you know, he's back out posting pictures again, being him. And his life goes on while those ladies have to pay the debt. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, please be careful. Protect yourself, protect your heart. And definitely watch out for the scammers, okay? I also made a video about like scams that be happening on Instagram. I'll link it up here so you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't watched the documentary, I'm sorry, I just bought it. But definitely check it out. It's very important. And you also wake up certain like senses in your brain that will make you see red flag a bit quicker make sure you are watching without judging the ladies because this could really be anybody and thank you guys once again don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter Snapchat, and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and i'll catch you guys in my next one Mwah! bye guys